Okay, so I recorded this intro and outro before, but then my mic was messed up, so we're gonna try this again. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Simply Beyond. If you are not new here, welcome back. You are greatly appreciated, you are loved, you are... Thank you. Again, greatly appreciated. I don't know why my hands are up like that. Um, today I'll be giving you a tutorial on this look. Also, chatty, talking about social media, because you know, it's, it's the devil, pretty much. It, it is, minus something. Hopefully things make sense in it. I can't guarantee anything though. If you do like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are new here, you know, if you want to, not obligated to. I would appreciate it if you subscribed. Only do it if you like my vibe though. If you do not like my vibe, it's fine. I am not everyone's vibe. Everyone is not my vibe. And with that being said, we're just gonna move right into the video. So, <laughs> this is this is broke life. Like 2015 beauty influencers. Okay, so I decided that I wanted to do some sort of you look you know like a you know it's like sunset eyes you know like with the ombre with the cut crease of the ombre colors around the outside but on the inside in the middle of the halo cut crease thing yeah yeah that I'm gonna do something like that <laughs> and as you can see my eyes are obviously already primed Burp. yeah okay Glad we got that out the way. My eyes are primed with just concealer. For my concealer, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and that is $5.94 at Walmart. For this I look, I'm, I'm gonna go in with the Take Me Back to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. There are 35 shades in it, and I it's $16 at Ulta. Don't pay attention to anything in the mirror. I planned this out, you guys. I, I do promise that. I promise I planned this out. I don't know, do I wanna do like a... Smoky, like a... I'm gonna start with this little blue shade right here. Right there, this one. I'm just going to pat that on my eyelid. I can't tell you what shape I'm about to go in because it probably won't go as planned and it's gonna turn into something. Right now I'm going for just an overall oval shape. The most even one, hopefully, because it never turns out even. Cool. It actually may be, this was my plan? I think this is my plan. It may not have been my plan. I think, okay. Well, as I figure this out, how are you guys doing today? Are you guys doing A-okay? I hope so. Okay, well, since it's been a long time no see, I thought I'd talk about a part of why. You know. For a lot of reasons, I mean, I can never like, get my life together long enough to consistently make videos, so I'm trying, I'm trying things to stay better motivated. But also one of the things that, one of the problems I've been having is just my quality. I don't like it half the time. Most of the time I'll be watching the video, I'm just like, you, you. I'm just like, I'm not, I can't deal with it. And I just don't. Then also I've kind of been away from social media for a short period of time. I deleted my Instagram. They don't look similar, but this one looks better for some reason. Yeah, I deleted my Instagram for about a week. Wasn't that long? Cause <laughs> it was so bad, but like I started, I, I had to come back, okay? I got away, I deleted it so I could stay off social media. And cause social media is a very toxic place, okay? It's a lot of things wrong with it. Well, there's always negativity just everywhere. And putting negativity in your life to me, bringing in toxic vibes just makes you feel toxic and gross. I decided to delete it altogether. Not my page, but just the app. 
and I wasn't gone long enough to really learn much from it. My plan was to do a month, but then I was like, I got makeup to post and pictures to post and people to lurk under. More so people with good quality pictures. That's really what I'd be lurking on. I'm like, how? How are you doing this? What camera do you have? That's not a thousand, it's not a whole tit, okay? I need a good camera that's not a whole tit. I use my iPhone. I only have two tits and I can't afford to lose one because then I'd just be lopsided and I look weird and I don't want that. So I, I need something that costs less than a tit. Now going back into the BH Cosmetics Take me to Brazil palette. I'm gonna take this blue shade up here. I'm just gonna pop that right all along the edges of that, the original dark blue shade that I put in. Also, I just hate when people feel the need, that they feel like they have the right to call somebody out their name or to say something rude about them. It's like, I don't understand who gave you that right? And really, people really be defending their opinions, their opinions. Like it's their natural born right. Like, I will say the people who just put negativity or ignorance out into the world because they know that it's gonna get people looking at their page. I hate those types of things. Like I've seen people who like on celebrities pages and like at first they'll start talking mean and then they'll come back saying positive things. I'm just like, I can see through your ruse. I know what you're doing. You just wanna get followers cause you're thirsty. And that, that leads me to my next point, but we'll get there in a second. I'm just doing padding motions, padding it and pushing it into the skin. One thing I forgot to mention was that I did not set my eyelids, the primer. I just used concealer and then you saw it got like a little tacky, got a little sticky. I didn't put powder on it. The stickiness helps with pigmentation, which for someone of darker skin, very difficult to achieve. And with the combination of a great quality palette like BH Cosmetic, we got pigmentation. I messed up over here. This, okay, okay. You start out the better side and then you turn to this. I don't, and it's okay because it's just makeup. I always remember that. Everything is just makeup. I really like these shadows. This is actually really pretty without it being blended out. Yeah. Is it this? No. No. It's not any. Is it this? Oh, of course, here it is. Right there. I found what I was looking for, so. It's okay, no worries. It only took five minutes. Now I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna start blending and I use, I'm, I'm using this little tapered brush and this is from Mary Kay. This is from Mary Kay. Don't know, are they still around? I, I think so. Yeah, I'm just gonna blend, start blending that out and I'm gonna start along the edges, the outer edges. Start kind of buffing that in with the primer. That way it's not so meh, whatever this is. I'm not gonna lie, this may be the type of concealer to you wanna set first. I don't know. We'll see, it kind of looks like, it's, it's still sticky, I think. I don't, I think it's supposed to be like this. Okay, so what was I saying? I was talking about People use their comments to only to draw attention to their pages. It's irritating, really irritating, especially when they decide to choose saying something negative or something very ignorant just to get people, just to draw the attention of people. And that's it's a little worrisome and very troublesome when people start, like people obsess so much over attention and over likes and follows and people viewing their page, when they are so obsessed with that, that they are willing to spill, to spew ignorance and bigotry into the world, that's a problem. But that's where I see the most negativity anyways, because you're so open to the world, it's exposed to the world. Not too bad of a blend, not too shabby. Another thing that I don't like is how it's so unrealistic. Everything is just so fake. 
I'm about to post a picture of this look and even that's gonna be edited. See if you guys are getting this though. You're getting what's going on here. You know, we only put our best lives, the best part of our lives on there, on Instagram or just on social media in general. And that can create a lot of false realities, especially for the younger generations who are very impressionable because it's their time to really start figuring out who they are. And they're basing a lot of it on the people who are like the big people on social media now and like the things that they find on social media. But I'm hungry. But the problem is that with that and I mean, that's always been a big problem because even in magazines, they do it and it's like in the entertainment, entertainment industry in general, that happens a lot. But the problem is the fact that everything is so edited, everything is so overdone. People are edited to look unrealistic, don't even look human anymore. And then you have all these young, impressionable teens and tweens looking up to these people and got them thinking that they look messed up because everyone else is a certain way because of filters and Botox and plastic surgery which not a problem with probably looking at my butt done at some point in life. This one is looking weird. Yeah you have all these teens looking up to these people. Most of what they have going on isn't even real. I was wearing makeup, you never see them without makeup. Or if you do, it's because they have enough money to afford for really good skincare. And they use that to their advantage, which there's not a problem with that. But it's just, you don't see as many big people who look more like normal people. You don't see a lot of big beauty influencers who look like normal people. Most of them have something done. Or they only show themselves looking their best. Like I said, that creates a very, puts on a very toxic image for people growing up trying to figure out who they want to be. Because a lot of them were trying to look like that and they're going to put some type of way because they aren't achieving those goals. And I feel bad when you have people incredibly young, 16, already feeling like they need to get a bunch of surgery done. I think it's weird that there is a bunch of people who are my age, I'm about to be 19, who have surgery done, like a bunch of surgery, which Again, it's not a problem. Anyone can do whatever they want in their life. But I feel like we only have youthful and young bodies for a short period of time. I don't want to ruin the blessing I already got, okay? <laughs> Looks nice, doesn't it? Yes, yes it does. I'm gonna blend that in a little bit more to sit on my eye. I'm sorry if I talked a lot. I'm about to do is I'm gonna do a halo cut crease and within that halo cut crease it's gonna be an ombre of these colors going on here so it's gonna be like the same thing just on a smaller scale on the inside. Okay, I'm just gonna use some Allegra Pro Conceal HD Highlight Concealer to cut the crease. Alright so I'm just going to take a flat brush. I'm just going to cut this crease and maybe not with this brush because this brush is too thick too thick and she's already causing problems. So for some reason I can't find the brush that I want. So I'm about to try something. I'm gonna see if something works. So I'm gonna take an angle brush and I'm going to use it to draw it. Okay, I think I did just do something. The reason why I went with this angled brush is to see if it would create like a sharper crease, like a cleaner crease line thingy. I think it's working. I really do. Just as long as I have enough product on the brush, it works. I'm just gonna bring the rest of that concealer down. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? You can barely see it. Okay, well, in the eye the top of it it's a little off now we got this little, like little extra outside area that just looks a mess it's just it's a mess everything's a mess i'm gonna let this dry a little bit and just so that like i can apply some eyeshadow and it doesn't move and it doesn't like blend in with it it'll look really gross and really muddy and just meh 
gonna go and I'm gonna clean up the area of the crease, the cut. I'm gonna take the BH Cosmetics number seven brush. I believe this is actually a lip liner brush. As you can see, it's very, like the end of it is very thin and then it's perfect for cleaning up sharp edges like this. And I'm just gonna, right now, the first time I'm just gonna do it with nothing on it. And then after I apply eyeshadow, I'm gonna go back in with eyeshadow, you know. I'm also slightly wiping off the excess on a paper towel. That way I'm not just spreading around the concealer. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna figure out how I'm doing this. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with that very first royal blue from before, the first one that I put down. I'm gonna take that on a really small brush. This is the e.l.f. concealer brush. I'm just going to apply that to the bottom of the lid. This brush also may be too small. You know what, let's go with a bigger brush because that's, that, uh -uh. Things are turning out better like that. I'm just gonna go in with that teal blue shade that I used earlier. And I'm gonna apply that to the top area. This ain't gonna be that clean. I don't know how people do this. I don't have the skill. I just don't have the skill to do this. I'm gonna go in with that palette and I'm going to take the shade Trixie right here. I should have blended this out first. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. I really should have. Okay, I'm gonna blend that out using that little tapered brush that I, nope, not that one. Using the tapered brush that I used earlier. Everything is really just trial and error, okay? Life is trial and error. I'm just gonna take a smaller flat brush and try that again. I'm just blending this out for some reason. I'm not sure why. Okay, we're gonna go in with that dark blue again and we're gonna try to bring that in a little bit. Try to clean that up. Boom, boom. And I don't think it worked. Okay, so I'm gonna take that little lip liner, lip pencil brush, and I'm gonna use that to clean the outside. All right, and now I'm gonna apply, I'm gonna put a little blue shade right there on it, just like to help clean it up. Make it a little cleaner, a little crispier. Don't know why I said crispier, but okay. I'm just gonna stop saying it. It's already out in the world. I kind of want to add some black to the bottom of it. Yeah, we're going to do some black, but I'm not going to do a black liner. I'm actually going to do a, a black eyeshadow and I'm going to kind of treat that as a liner. And I'm going to take this little black shade from the bottom of this palette. I'm just going to run that along my waterline, or not waterline, along this line, slash line. I may have uh, went in a little too intense, but it's fine. It's not fine, it's actually not okay. This is, it took a wild turn. Well, not my worst look. From the front, it doesn't look that bad. Okay, oh, I may have actually just pulled this together. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so what I did was I started with putting the base of the brush after I first dig into the pan and starting that on the outside, that way it's the most pigmented out there. And then I'm just swooping inward. And that kind of creates that ombre smoky effect. Okay, so it's not bad. It's really not bad. I can dig this. I can dig it. I thought it was going downhill but it actually it didn't turn out that bad all right so i'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup i'm gonna go apply some lashes do all that fun stuff pretty sure you guys are tired of me already so all right so as you can see this is the final look i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did 
do not forget to give a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe only again those things only do that if you want to you're not obligated to it's fine perfectly fine again i hope you did enjoy it i hope i didn't just waste your time um so yeah i really hope you guys have a great night or day wherever you are wherever you are in this life or in time in the world whatever i hope you have a great yeah good luck <laughs> tide is right and i'm holding on i'm gonna be your mm -hmm. no idea why that's in my head don't know where it even came from but it's there they were having a sale so you know i got the little discount i'm not gonna go to ultra just just for some points and pay full price new that's how they get you